friends welcome back and today we're going to talk about how to grow succulents from leaf propagation so here we start uh, this is a plant that i purchased for rupees 50 only for the purpose of carrying out my propagate experiments using the same plant i will show you how to choose a leaf for propagation here while choosing a leaf you have to choose a leaf that is healthy and mature now in this case this is a very good leaf it is not spoiled or it has not dried up and it is mature because it is at the lower half of the stem so we do not require leaves right at the top of the plant and here with little twisting you have to get off the leaf completely we do not want a piece of the leaf still remaining at the stem and so after careful process you can just pull it off and you have to check to see that the entire leaf has come off from the stem in step 2 you have to keep these leaves for callosing that is it has to dry out you have to be careful about choosing proper leaves because you do not want leaves that have been half broken or which have turned black etc now, this is my first batch which i have just picked up yesterday and they have been drying for about a day today and the next one that i have is this you may remember my video about unboxing succulents wherein I found number of leaves that were fallen already and these are the leaves that I had found in that unboxing video. It's been over a week now so it's like 9 days approximately. So these leaves have been callousing for the last 9 days and if you notice some of them are showing this tiny growth towards the edge of the leaves. Some leaves even have tiny roots that have been developed. So this is a growth that I have seen without any soil, without any water but I have placed them under indirect sunlight. In the next step let me share the kind of soil that I have used to give them that environment to propagate. The soil mixture that I have used is an equal proportion of vermicompost, I have used cocoa peat and I have used perlite. Now these three components I have used in equal quantity uh, for propagation. Placing the leaf in the soil is important because you have to place it correctly. There is a slight dent kind to the shape of the leaves. That is what you are going to use as a base to park the leaves in the soil. So you have to slightly press it in the soil so they get the secure position. If you place it the other way around with that tent or that hump on top, you may not see so much of growth in the leaves. So this is how you are going to place them. You do not have to place them in some design or pattern. You can just randomly place them in the pot. Now watering here would be you are not going to water for the next 3 days minimum. You are going to wait for watering. After the third day you are just going to mist the leaves. You are not pouring water on top of it nor are you pouring water around the edge of the pot. You are only going to mist it. Now you are going to mist it depending upon the temperature that you have. For the batch that I had already tested this procedure, I had kept them in direct sunlight. So in that case, I had to mist it every other day. So it was like misting every day almost. But if it is a cold region and it's not getting so much of sunlight, then you can mist it once every two days. This is a growth that I have seen. I had couple of more leaves, but then some of them did not show the required growth. But then these are my 
three uh, successful leaves that have shown me growth. I know they're still small to be excited about, but then one of this leaf, that is this one, is already drying up. So this is a sign for me that the leaf, the mother leaf, will not provide it the required nutrients for the growth of the plant and there is also this root system that is been developed so i can either wait maybe for another two to three days to transfer it or can transfer it right away of course i'm going to show you how to plant a leaf which has given the small babies in fresh soil now what is a clue that I can transfer it to a new pot, to an individual pot? Many a times when you see the leaf is completely dried out or there is, isn't sufficient space in the pot, then you can transfer it. Many a times in that haste of transferring, we lose healthy baby plants. So you can always wait for a few more days before transferring given the health of the mother leaf. There's no harm in waiting for few more days. That is all friends. I hope I have motivated you to try your own succulent leaf propagation and to be successful at it. Thank you so much for watching. I see you again. Bye.